Hearts of Iron 4 A to Z. We've landed on Austria, and quite a tragic tale Austria is. Once one of the great empires of the world, they are now reduced to having some mountains and the city of Vienna. And in a few years' time, they won't even have that, as they'll just be an appendage to Germany. But what if? What if we can do something else here? Let's see if we can make Austria great again. Iron Man mode is on with historical focuses and yes, no achievements because I'm running a mod and all that mod does is rename divisions to the channel members. So if you want to feature in a Vitter Steel video, sign up. Let's go. Now Austria doesn't start in the best position, but it certainly has options. We'll just need to do some memory to fully leverage the power. Let's see, the army, everybody gets to be infantry. No fancy business here today. Research, just the basics. We'll start with the production construction and engineering we're gonna build nothing but military factories for most of the game whatever we have we have three mills one on guns one on support equipment and I'll put a third on transports yes so I, I think you know where this is going don't worry it's not gonna be quite that level of memory but I like where you're thinking as for focuses we'll start with political efforts and then we're gonna rush down to armament effort three we need more guns for what we're about to do Carl you get the lead okay let us get cracking I think we be a little bit of trade with Germany. So what are we gonna do here? Austria is uniquely positioned in that they are very quick to flip to fascism, but they are just that easy to turn. So I think fascism is the only salvation that Austria can get. If we stay non-aligned, it will take too long to justify a war goal. It takes too long to flip communist. And well, why would I ever want to go democratic Austria hungry? <clears throat> Austria, sorry, Austria. No, we will go the brown ideology and use its power to conquer everything around us. We will form mighty Austria hungry or we will die trying. Vienna will rule Prague and Budapest once more. All right, political effort done, industrial effort next. And we're going to use that free political power to hire. Walter Weber, the fascist demagogue. And then we're going to wait until NSDAP support reaches about 60%. The reason I do that is so I can bypass open up political discourse. I, I just don't want to spend the 75 political power. I have other things to do. Other things like, I, I kind of forgot, training as many infantry divisions as possible on the highest priority. I need more men, a lot more men. And I'm going to force deployment of every single one of these divisions. You know, Austria having the standard focus tree is a good thing. It's a strong focus tree, but I hope to one day see an alt history tree here where I can get some Habsburgs. It doesn't quite feel right trying to restore the empire without the emperor. No, Kurt doesn't cut it and neither does Arthur says Inkwart. So we got engineering. I'm going to use that slot to go and grab paratroopers because of course I am. I'm just going to force deploy these divisions as soon as they become available. That's just, just rush out to troops i need an army all right we have 100 political power we're nowhere near 60 percent support so let's go and grab a chief of the army so we can get some army experience several of these are good franz is good edvard is also good i'm going to go with the army offense expert because extra division attack is pretty much always good so army maneuver is not bad either as we get more factories i want more factories on guns i need more on support equipment and once we research it we'll grab artillery as well let's work our way down to armament effort three basic machine tools done and we're gonna go with kind of want dispersed but a difficult choice no make the third option we'll take improved machine tools this path is always the thing you want to rush first unless you absolutely need the building slots because this improves your production efficiency cap the production efficiency cap is used to calculate everything else in relation to production efficiency so the higher the cap the higher your growth the more stuff you make overall just in short this is the thing you want first everything else second. Man, I wish I had an industry, but you know, 1936 Austria was not in a good place. Ever since the um, the first world war, things kind of went downhill for Austria. Yeah, they did. They really, they really had a number pulled on them. So construction's done. Let's go grab this first. Concentrated might be better because of the extra factory output, but eh. You know, I am a dispersed kind of guy. Also gonna grab political loyalty with my army experience. The reason I'm doing that is in short, it 
big stability go up. More stability means we get more of everything else. So good. This thing is also cool. So this event usually pops up if you're trying to switch ideologies. This just gives you a flat 5% boost to fascism. Also makes your recruitable pop go up a little bit at the cost of 5% stability. It's overall a good thing. So more manpower, yay. And it just speeds the whole process up. So 2% left to go. I'm going to hold on to my political power until we're ready to uh, actually flip ideologies. And until then, we keep making more guns. It's it's absolutely vital. Also more airplanes. Once we have about 50-ish uh, transport planes, I'm getting rid of this production line. Let's also grab artillery so we can start making some of it. I'm just going to go grab mechanical computing first and, and go from there. After this finishes, after more most of these things finishes. I just want dispersed industry too. The construction thing would be nice, not vital. I mainly need to focus on getting the infantry equipment ready, getting the artillery out the door, and making sure I have radio. Everything else is a nice bonus, but not vital. Also, trucks would be cool. Don't think I can afford it. All right, so we've hit 60% support. And as you can see, we now get a new button here. New button, there we go. The national referendum. So it just bypasses open up political discourse. We we waited for 60% to save us 75 political power. The reason is it doesn't matter that we wait. It's just free that way. So we're going to hold the national referendum. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Yay, we now have Arthur says inkwort here from here what we're gonna do is wait until early 37 to justify on our southern neighbor yugoslavia we have some stuff they want until then though we need to prepare let's keep things rolling along i'm gonna assign a spirit of the army state serves the military more political power is great cheaper conscription laws also great it's, it's pretty good professional officer corps is also good but it's not what i'm looking for right now and with the cheaper conscription cost i'm going to go up to limited conscription because i am all out of manpower and the troops need some actual troops in them and the next step will be war economy now i admit it does slow our economic growth a little going for manpower over well industry but you know I, I do need somebody to hold the guns right right we have 150 political power but we're going to wait a little bit uh why i want to wait until mid april so i can then start justifying the reason i'm waiting that long is because we need to wait for the french and the Czechs to withdraw their guarantee of Yugoslavia. The Romanians stick around, but the Romanians don't matter. That will allow us to fight Yugoslavia and Romania in, in one go. We basically get a free country out of it. And the reason we're timing it so specifically, so precisely, is because it allows us to cheese Germany. Speaking of cheesing Germany, we're going to join their faction. And we're also going to buddy up to Horthy and ask for military access. The cheese will be apparent soon enough. We're now in the axis. So why are we waiting? We need to be at war with Yugoslavia around the same time Germany does the Anschluss. Because if Germany does the Anschluss and we say yes, we disappear. Not what we're going for. And if we say no, we get kicked from the axis and Germany gets a war goal, which is bad. However, if both me and Germany are fighting the same target, the AI's first instinct, because you're also a fascist nation, the AI will simply invite you to their faction again before they do anything else. So it's super cheesy, but it's amazing and it works. Let's justify a war goal on eh, North Slovenia is fine. So I get about 24 divisions out. Uh, I'm also going to train two divisions of paratroopers because we will need their cheesy tactics. And from that point onward, we just focus on improving what we have and then getting more infantry out. Let's also start making some artillery. Artillery is the the lifeblood of the army. All right, it got militarism. That's 5% uh, recruitable pop for free. We're now going to go down all of the construction stuff, get construction effort three and the extra research slot. That should jumpstart our economy a bit and it's going to need it because this is not a great economy, but we're, we're getting there. We also have more than 50 transport planes, so I'm going to cut that production line. Don't need it anymore. We are simply going to focus on infantry equipment, towed artillery, support equipment. If we manage to somehow find more more factories somewhere we'll make some aa if we get the extra research slot but for now just the basics we really can't afford more so for the astute viewers among you you'll notice that suddenly my divisions have renamed i forgot to turn my mod on so i had to go back and do it manually i suffer for your entertainment let's go grab the popular figurehead and then all the other political power is going to go into improving the military we 
still have about 90 days to go, so we should be good. I'm also going to go with superior firepower because it is simply the best. Now, these two paratroopers, we have a very specific uh, goal in mind. We're going to take one of them and power drop the position here next to Zagreb. And the other one, we are going to power drop on the position south of that along the river. Now, what we're going to do is wait a little bit. We're first going to drop this unit here that will land next to Zagreb. If Zagreb is free, we're actually going to take that second paratrooper and drop him on Zagreb instead because we need Zagreb. If Zagreb isn't free, we're going to drop here to make sure we have a nice wide front. Now, what is my plan here for those of you who don't really know what's going on? I have military access to Hungary. That means I can walk into Hungary, but I can't use Hungary to attack from. That's fine. What I can do is use paratroops to take a position along the Hungarian border and then walk my army in because apparently that just works. As a result, I'll be able to get like 14 of these divisions right behind the Yugoslav lines and hopefully we can punch straight through to Zagreb. I do wish I had more guns though and more artillery and, and more of everything but the state of our economy is just that it's not good. Let's go and grab the army regrouping. No, the infantry expert give us the best fighting chance. All right, we have our war goal. We can get going. If I declare war now, Yugoslavia is going to pull in Romania, which is fine. Romania can't reach me. And for some reason, the AI doesn't really help each other unless they're actually in the same faction, which they won't be. We're now just going to declare war. Go. And the next step is going to be, as early as possible, also justify a war goal on the Czechoslovaks, but that's going to need to wait until we have a little bit more political power. We're going to start off the para drop here, right below Zagreb, and we're going to see what happens. Oh, they're attacking us. It's fine. They won't be able to push. Even if they were able to push, eh, can't really do all that much to me, realistically. So yeah, the AI doesn't put any airplanes up if you don't put any airplanes up. So I didn't put any airplanes up. And about 50 transports is enough to make a para drop happen. Let's see if it happens. There we go. Ah, they got troops in Zagreb. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're going to march right into Zagreb next turn. We'll be fine. But annoyingly, they have immediately pushed the paratrooper out. I could have done a last stand, but didn't. Instead, I'm going to railroad some of that infantry in. It should arrive in time to... Oh, there we go. And the rest of the infantry is going to walk in. Hopefully not taking too long. Come on. All right. So the troops are in. Just need to win that combat and then we'll be fine. Meanwhile, I'm taking this guy for a bit of a walk here. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to do is link up with that pocket we've created in the south as quickly as possible by pushing through the tile next to Maribor as soon as they end combat. We're going to ask Germany. Ooh, thank you, Germany. Get Germany to send us all of their things. And that will be enough for now. I admit it's not always easy. And the AI can definitely, definitely make this difficult for you. But with last stands and force attacks, you can very likely force the issue here. And in a case like this, I can actually see them walking out of Zagreb. So the instant that this combat ends, hopefully victoriously, I am going to send troops into Zagreb. We have a little bit of time. So Germany is well on their way to Anschluss, but we've got plenty of time. Don't need to call them in. We should have all the time in the world to do what we came here to do. Pinning attacks along the front, march the units where they need to go. Paratroopers have done their thing. So I'm just going to walk them back to their front lines as soon as, yeah, I'm just going to walk them back to their airports. I need to just Justify in Czechoslovakia. Yes, before I forget. 285 days. I hope that's enough time. Should be. So I'm going to get that justification in. If we wait too long with this, we will not be able to even declare the war before Germany gets the, the Man Sudetenland. And we, we want all of Czechoslovakia to ourselves through the power of memory. So very important that we get that. Hope I didn't wait too long. If I did, well, you'll just never see this video. October 38. Oh no. Oh no. How long has this war been going on? How much time have I wasted? Yeah, about a month. It should be fine. Anschluss is getting close. And the annoying thing is the endless last stands the AI sometimes pulls. I sh Oh, great. Strikes. Great. This is not good, but we can fix it. Yeah, the endless last stands the AI can pull is honestly ridiculously annoying. As a result, they have been able to hold on to Zagreb for far <laughs> longer than they should. But I got him now, pinning all of the uh, surrounding areas and... Oh, 
Oh, for the love of God, defeat these. Yes! Okay, I have Zagreb. And now I can denounce the Germans. Just gonna call them to arms. That was very close. Very, very unlucky. But we got Zagreb. We're gonna call Germany into the war. I have seven days before this uh, thing does anything, all right? And now we're gonna say no. We've said no. Okay, Germany, invite me to your faction. <laughs> there we go. Germany has invited us to their faction. Yay. That was close. Uh, from this point onwards, I really don't need to worry about anything. The Germans are gonna come in and swing their big um, armor around one good pocket in. come on yep all right that will be the end of the fighting here almost the end of the fighting here all right let's uh, reconfigure this make sure we wipe out the enemy moving forward all right what i want to do is capitulate yugoslavia and get as close to the romanian border as possible without actually touching it to keep the romanians not knowing what happens and then we'll para drop into the breach like this tile here and move our army in there so just just bear with me meanwhile we're justifying on on the checks the Brits have guaranteed them but that doesn't matter we're also going to train maybe a couple more divisions if we have the manpower and equipment for it because I will have ports soon and I need to have them guarded all right thankfully that's over we have the majority of the participation make sure we take everything that we need to form Austria-Hungary I don't know this by heart but it's what what I have taken now so it's a Vigina, Bosnia Croatia Dalmatia North Slovenia Ljubljana Vojvodina and West Banat everything else puppet it just just puppet it if you can if you can't oh well, might, might might not be a terrible idea to just restart as much as I hate to say this because it's it's a pain in the ass Fortunately, we have way more points than Germany, so should be able to do this. So, annoyingly, Germany is just going to be annoying. We got all the territory we wanted. I managed to puppet Serbia, Montenegro, Macedonia, but Germany keeps fighting me over these last two tiles, so I am not gonna bother. I'm gonna forfeit these demands, so I have a little bit of war score left, and I'm gonna use that to add war reparations to a couple of these states so I get their factories, and if I can i am also going to add resource rights if i can afford it i don't think i can afford it and now we need to kill romania quickest way to kill romania is not to actually fight them there but to pull some cheesy tactics cheesiest of all is to just power drop this area here and push out from there as soon as you can again we don't want Germany getting all or too much of the war participation. Definitely not. So we're just going to set up our paratroopers and see what we can make happen here. So troops are in position. We're going to hit the paradrop order, which works because there's no airplanes up. And you're going to just march the army straight in and attack, attack, attack. I want highly aggressive maneuvers now. I need to be aggressive. I need to be violently aggressive just to make sure we survive this move we cannot afford to have Germany take too much of Romania we want all of Romania it's ours we came here to take Romania and we shall take Romania as you can tell oh hell as you I was gonna say as you can tell they don't really have the strength to keep going but well they died so make sure we take the territories we need focus heavily on those and we're gonna also puppet the romanians in montentia if we can submit those demands take Transylvania, and if we're gonna puppet them anywhere else probably moldavia and Montentia. something like this is fine and we're gonna add war reparations as well as resource rights that should give us a good base to work with it's pause and see what we got so we got austrian romania which holds the majority of the oil which we can get through resource rights we've also taken most of their factories got a nice puppet germany took the areas i don't care about so bessarabia so germany's either gonna go to war with the soviets over it or not i don't care and we took all of the stuff we needed to form austria hungary so all we need now is the hungarian states and the czechoslovak states we are going to focus heavily on taking those czechoslovak states as soon as possible and hopefully we can get that done before germany comes in and decides it wants to take everything the paratroops are going to be hitting the tail end of czechoslovakia so you're going to try to take presov as well as it's this place here kosice or kosic like that if it's at all possible i want to paradrop this 
area, march my army in, and essentially cut off the tail end of Czechoslovakia, destroy the units they have there, if that works. And to make sure that works, I will need to get troops into that position. And I will need to get troops into position here. I will be fighting the Czechoslovaks on my own. It's going to be a bit difficult, mostly because of their massive fort line. I need to find their weak and soft underbelly. And I'm also like 300 political power behind because of all the negative events. It was so annoying. I'm going to grab the army recruiting guy next, maybe the military theorist, so we can get more doctrines in. I need my army to be a little stronger. Oh, it, it has been expensive. I don't have the artillery I need. I don't have the infantry equipment I need. I, it's overall been a very bad day, but we're still fighting. We're still kicking around. All right, justification's finished. We're going to declare war. We're not going to call anybody in. Germany, meanwhile, is about 20, maybe 30. No. We're like 15 days away from demanding the Sudetenland. Let's look at this. Yeah, about 10 days more like. Czechoslovakia is going to join the Allies. That means they're going to say no to Germany. Germany is going to declare war in Czechoslovakia. And usually that means they're not going to go anywhere. However, it's entirely possible that Germany now does something stupid. And by something stupid, I mean they might just like take a tile here. Maybe they'll take a tile there. It's going to be annoying. But because if they take any of those provinces, there will be no way for me to get them. Unless we end the war with the allies victoriously and I get it out of the peace deal, maybe. Or we need to end the war with the allies. Then I need to leave the Axis and stab Germany in the back, which I can. But I don't know if I'll ever be able to even reach the United Kingdom before the Americans join, simply because I have no navy. I don't have the industry to build a navy. Maybe eventually I can get some naval dockyards in but long story short it's gonna suck all right it's just going to suck and i don't know how to fix it if we cannot get it done this way i don't know what i can do to fix it that said let's go to war i have a couple of days maybe i can get a, like a transport to fly off right checks are in the allies power drop worked shipping in boys we're shipping all of these guys in and we're gonna try and take as much of the area as we can and we're gonna launch pinning attacks here to make sure nobody he does anything stupid uh, the checks are walking into my territory all right aha we have effectively cut off czechoslovakia we've cut czechoslovakia in half now and we want to push up as far as we can i no longer need the paratroops they won't be able to para drop anything anyway so they're being converted to infantry as soon as i can you guys just sit on the coastline yes Yes, coastline sitting will be just fine for you guys. So the first naval invasions are hitting me. Fortunately, like I said, got troops in position. Should be fine. Don't really worry about that. Checks are responding, but... Yeah, I got a good portion of their army encircled here already. Everybody to the front now. Everybody to the front. Thought I had a good amount of divisions encircled. Apparently it's two. Apparently two is a good amount. It's better than nothing. And I did manage to wiggle up to their soft underbelly so there is that at least yeah i'm just um fending off naval invasion after naval invasion we should be fine here we should be perfectly fine i'm really only concerned about germany mostly the fact that germany might just walk in occupy something and i won't be able to do anything about it because the ai is fully focused on me i hate that i hate that i hate that i just want something to go right for me this run that's it oh Germany's gone to war with Germany, so we might be screwed. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So I've never seen this event actually, you know, happen. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> Oh no, my ally has suddenly lost like more than three quarters of its army. You know what? Screw it. All out assault. If I can knock out the Czechs, I still have a chance. Just an all out offensive against the Czechs. If I can take their stuff, I can still click the button when I declare war. Oh, let's justify. I, when I take out Hungary, I'll have all the cores I need. And from there, I can play the rest of this campaign as, as normal. I just cannot afford to let Germany ruin everything for me. Czechoslovakia is going to capitulate and I think... I think I have occupation. Let's see what happens. Almost. Almost everything is mine because there is annoying amount of German allied something troops in the area. But, 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 if I can push into Karlsbad, 
I can still win. Just need to get aggressive now. I just need to get aggressive. I control most of the required territories. I just cannot allow Germany to take anything else. Do I have everything? No, I need to control all the Hungarian states as well. So we're gonna mop up that German cancer thing here in, in central Germany. Then I'm gonna take out Hungary. And then I can click all the buttons I want to and need to. Oh my god, I never thought we'd do it, but we're gonna do it. Let's start justifying on Hungary before anything untowards happens. I'm still holding all of the coastline. They never managed to make a naval invasion. Italy is getting his teeth kicked in by the French, but that's temporary. Germany's losing, but again, I... I hope I, I will make sure that it, that is all temporary in what I can only call the greatest betrayal in history the game mechanics somehow have stabbed me in the back I had total control of Eastern Sudetenland I controlled Ostrava me not this fop in Berlin no but somehow while I was cleaning up the pocket there occupation flipped to Germany now despite me doing all of the heavy lifting, all of the fighting, all of the dying. Well, maybe not most of the dying, but still. Despite all of that, Germany has Eastern Sudetenland. Germany will never give me Eastern Sudetenland. I can ask for control of states all I want, but they will never give that to me. I am very tempted to cheat at this point. Bullshit. That's all I have to say about this. This is also an Iron Man game, so I can't console this. And I really, really want that territory because I've earned it. Yep, I'm just gonna go beat up Hungary and then I'm going to sit on my own front and watch Germany die. I'm not gonna destroy the Hungarians. They're gonna join the Allies, but it doesn't matter. There, Hungary destroyed. Now, in hindsight, I could have used the Hungarians to liberate the area, but, you know, that was never going to happen. So let's just uh, go ahead, sit back, relax, and watch Germany die, hopefully. If I manage to instigate a war with Poland, would I be able to let Poland walk in here and then liberate the territory from my own territory? Would that work? I'm curious if that would work, because I... I kind of want to give it a try, like set up like this. So I, I have all of this protected, sort of, and then justify a war goal on Poland. If I were to declare war and call my allies, what would happen? Oh, oh no, no, oh, it was stupid. No, oh, I called all of these minor puppets into the war. You know, I'm somehow continuously making this run worse. Might as well just roll with it and see what happens. Poland joins the allies. Poland walks into Ostrava. Okay, now what would happen if I were to walk into Ostrava from the south? Oh, Ostrava has a level 7 fort on it. That would happen. Go on, push that Polish division out. Would I get occupation because... Yes! <laughs> it worked? I can't believe that it worked. This is the dumbest thing I've ever tried, and it worked. Okay, so <laughs> I can restore the Austro-Hungarian Empire. I can get my cores. Click. Look at that. It worked. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Oh, happy days, it worked. The dumbest thing I've ever tried, and it worked. Now I just have to kill Poland, obviously, which might be a tall order, but you know, I think I'm gonna call this a, a, a run, a, a finished run. When we get to the end, now it's just a matter of knocking out the Poles. Hopefully the Italians can hold for a little bit longer. Let's focus on taking out fake Germany by cutting through Warsaw, heading to Königsberg. Anything, if anything, the Germans can defend my stuff. I'm just gonna aggressively push through. I'm also going to start adding some artillery and additional support AA. Can we afford the cost? Not the artillery. Eh, mostly, though. Eh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Members have earned their bonus. God, you've really earned your keep this time, boys. Who's the major partner in the deal now? Germany. Oh, that's so good. I don't think Germany's even done Molotov Ribbentrop, so I don't actually have to give all of that Polish stuff away either. All right. Let's see if I can encircle some allied divisions here. Yes. Okay. Germany's doing its usual thing, so... Got a lot of troops trapped here near Genoa. Good pocket. Yeah, that's uh, a good chunk of the uh, French army gone. Please, thank God. Ugh, Germany keeps starting more wars. Do you not have better things to do, Germany? Like rebuilding your country. <laughs> I don't think Vichy France can form if Italy takes all of this. Well, Italy. We, we took all of it. But I don't think Vichy France can form now, which is going to be weird. Let's work on some naval effort. Maybe I got, I got like a year and a half. 
Who knows? Oh no, Fishy can form. All right, so that's good to know. I would very much like to naval invade the UK. I doubt I can make that happen. I just don't have a navy, which is a bit of a problem if you're trying to naval invade anywhere. And they have absolute supremacy everywhere. I don't even think the German fleet's still around. Uh, they got 17 ships left, so... Oh my god, they lost all of their ships. Did all of them flip to the other Germany? Oh, that's horrible. Anyway, so I, I don't think we're going to be continuing at this point. Uh, the industry's good. It can get better, which it will. Nice amount of military factories. Nice amount of civilian factories. Very nice amount. And uh, at this point, what I would do is build naval bombers. Uh, try to get some sort of destroyer, maybe some submarines out. Anything really that I can mass produce to get some naval supremacy. And just fill the channel absolutely to the brim with airplanes, fighters and naval bombers. Try to get my army across and that would probably knock out the UK. As for Russia, it's really nothing more than trade more troops, line them up on the border and start walking. Uh, probably get a uh, an agency as well so I don't have to walk all the way over here to like two men. The hard part's over. We've achieved our goal. I think this was an interesting Austria run. It it was a little touch and go there with Eastern Sudetenland, but I am very happy we pulled it off in the end. This was a very sweaty but very enjoyable run. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well, and I hope you'll enjoy this next video too. See ya.